Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins. Alright boys, I know I just posted, but there's been more news. They have released, obviously, the Mutt Master and the Mutt um, Level Master. I don't know what I'm going to call them. I guess that's, I'm pretty sure that's the name. So we obviously have Pat Tillman. I'm going to go in depth in about a second on what that is, guys. If you haven't already, go check out my last video. It has all the Mutt Level Master, the Level Cap, the rewards, the overalls, has everything that's come out so far. Go go watch that video, drop a like for me. Now also guys, with this new news, we now have the second guys. Last year we had Ricky Williams and Ryan Chase Deer. We now know who we have. I'll be going over that in a minute as Mutt Leaks continues to drop news. Now boys, this is what it's looking like. This I believe this is Tory Holt. Tory Holt was a wide receiver for the Rams, obviously. This is huge. This is huge for multiple reasons. So we got the Mutt level master and the Mutt master in general so there's pat tillman and tory holt now what i like about both these positions is they are depth positions as you know because safeties obviously can be used in multiple ways we have free safety strong safety we put them in the box so like there's multiple ways to use a safety you can move them to strong you can move them to free put them at linebacker so obviously i like that because it doesn't make mean you're capped so like let's say you have pat tillman at free safety and then you get a brand new nat earl thomas or something like that and then now you don't know what to do with the pat tillman you can put him in the box you can match strong it gives you a lot of flexibility as unlike last year where once you had Shazier and Lewis, you really couldn't touch your linebackers the entire year like me. Didn't even buy a single linebacker or well, middle linebacker. Now this being a wide receiver is huge because last year we had Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams is the best running back for the majority of the year every time a new level cap dropped. And the thing about him is that as good as he was, he wasn't as fun to use as like Ezekiel Elliott's, Barry Sanders, Saquon Barkley's. But it was kind of stupid to spend hundreds of thousands of coins trying to get these running backs when you had a free one. So this is huge because it's Torrey Holt. So you're gonna have a 99 overall wide receiver. Obviously that's year end, but you'll have a top receiver at every single update, series update, level cap update, and you will have them where you can use up to five wide receivers. You have the one, the two, the three, the four, and the five. Now, this is huge because let's say you got a brand new Odell Beckham Jr. You don't have to get rid of him. He could be the two. Let's say you get a brand new Tyreek Hill. He could be the three. You know what I'm saying? Like you can always just leave. You just have to buy one less wide receiver which is kind of huge depending on the scheme you play because in years past, like the last few years, you've been capped to use running. You can't use a running back, couldn't use a linebacker. So it's kind of cool having this kind of flexibility now, in my opinion. I'm excited for it. Obviously, he's not the biggest receiver, but he is going to be a really good receiver, good route runner, good catcher. Hopefully, he has a good spin. We can only hope, you know, depending on what they give him as his, uh, what he can do with his feet. I'm pretty sure he's fast. Now, I'm really excited about these two guys because I no longer feel capped like I have in years past. Like, Ricky Williams is cool, but he's not a, he's not the flashiest running back like a Barry or a Saquon, a Zeke, a Melvin Gordon, you know, the list goes on, James Conner. So now there's a lot of flexibility. I can now have my Odell, I can have my Calvin, my Randy Moss, and I can still run this Torrey Holt. No matter where you are in the year, a 99 overall Torrey Holt will be useful at 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, or the 5, so I'm not complaining about that. They also revealed this is what the Legend Pack's looking like. Now, I imagine this is going to be a level up reward. That is an ad. And this should be a training reward. So, just to recap real quick, we got the training reward, the legend reward, the Tory Holt. We got the draft champs. We got the level up packs. Obviously, I'm not going to go down because show that in the last video. If you haven't seen it, go up and you can go watch that. Now, I'm excited for this. This is big, big news for Madden, obviously. This is kind of like the bulk. We already got the bulk of Madden news for the most part. That's all we need to know. We need to know some overalls. We need to know the Mutt Master, the Level Master, so I'm excited about that. Now, all we're waiting for is a database to drop, and I can make a video on every overall that is going to be in Madden next year, which is obviously huge to know going to this game. You can start game planning. This affects who you're going to be taking with your pre-order packs, which, remember, guys, day one, when you access drops, I was making a video on who to take out of those packs, so don't take your guys until the YouTubers and content creators start making those videos, obviously. So, guys, that's about it for this news. I'm going to keep this video short. Just wanted to drop Tory Holt in there. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are here for Madden 20. Any of you guys who are here currently, make sure to drop a comment, a like, and, a, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about these Mutt Level Masters and these Mutt Master Rewards and everything. That's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys are back come Madden 20 in two days. I'm out. See you guys later.